Hi everyone in booktube. I posted a short today, but then I went to the post office and I got mail. I'm so excited. Um, I have not checked my P.O. box for over a month, so I am really sorry whoever sent me this wonderful gift. Um, I haven't checked my mailbox in a long time, so that's entirely my fault. Um, but I got it today, and I am opening it and posting a video of me opening it today. So, yay. Thank you, whoever, so much. I can't wait to see. Um what I got and who my wonderful friend is. Okay, a gift for you. Um, Miss Thomas, you have been on my heart. I know this past few months have been challenging, but don't faint for in due season, you will reap harvest of joy. You will reap a harvest of joy. May the joy of the Lord overtake you. Love, Chrissy, from Christina Claflin. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I am so excited. I can't wait. And um, I, oh, it looks like, well, I want to know when it was sent because I'm so sorry. I haven't checked my mail in like forever. Oh, gosh, January 25th. I'm sorry, Chrissy. It's been... I think three weeks since I have checked um, my mail, I guess. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna see what the gift is. I have an idea, because I can see the back of it. It's green. <laughs> and it is Secrets of the Mist, or Secrets in the Mist, um, which I have been wanting to read. So um, I can't wait to read this. I'm really excited to read it, and it's so nice to get a wonderful gift. But the one thing that is almost, um, okay, even nicer than a gift is a prayer from a wonderful sister in Christ. And I have to tell you, I want to share this. I did get Chrissy's permission a while ago, a while ago to share this. Um, so I have been having some health problems. Uh, that's why I sort of have dropped off of YouTube and it's why I haven't checked my, um, my post office box. It's nothing contagious or anything like that, but I've been getting some, uh, some, some, it's not a headache exactly. It's like a pain in the back of my head. And, um, I got a CAT scan and an MRI and the doctors have ruled out like cancer and, um, Oh, a, a stroke. They've ruled those things out, but they are a little concerned. And um, I've, of course, been a little concerned and my church and my friends um, have been concerned. But, um, you know, I'm just going about life. I'm just trying to be kind of minimal in the uh, responsibilities that I take on. But Chrissy uh, from my wonderful BookTube community and Sister in Christ did send me a direct message on Instagram. And I did say to her, you know, when I feel up to it, do you mind if I share this? And she gave me permission. So, um, and it was the end of December. It's been that long, but she sent me um, a, a really lovely direct message on Instagram. And she said, hi, Miss Thomas. I just wanted to wish you a happy new year. I hope you are well and I pray for you. Um, love you. And then she said, um, you've been on my heart and I just wanted to say hello. And I said to her, um, thank you, Chrissy. It must be a God thing because I'm having some health problems. I appreciate your prayers. Happy New Year to you too. So <laughs> she wrote back with this, this just this wonderful, wonderful prayer that absolutely touched my heart so much. And I shared it with some of my um, close friends and I want to share it now on BookTube. She did give me permission to share this. So this is what she direct messaged me back on Instagram. She said, Oh my goodness, I will be praying. And then she jumps right into prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we adore you. Your ways are perfect and settled in heaven and in earth. Father, I thank you for my sister, Miss Thomas. I thank you that she continues to shine and be a voice in the darkness for so many. Lord Jesus, you said that if we abide in you and your word abides in us, we can ask you for anything and it will be done. So, Father, I ask that you heal and restore my sister for this health ailment. I ask that your ministering angels surround her and her family during this time. We also ask that 
Um, the physician and nurses and all medical staff be given wisdom and understanding concerning the health of Miss Thomas. We cancel every ill intent, sickness, and spirits of discouragement, and we activate the providence, power, and peace of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Now, may the peace of Jesus guard your heart and mind, which is one of my favorite verses, by the way, Chrissy. Um, may the peace of Jesus guard your hearts and mind. May the Lord bless you. Um, may the Lord keep you and energize you and all of your house, even in the generations to equip um, to you to continue to work and having done all stand in Jesus name. Amen. I love you, sister. And I am here for you if you need anything. And what a blessing. I mean, this what a blessing just to get this this encouragement when I was feeling so afraid and so um, just confused and tired, just too tired to put myself out there. And it's taken me over a month to, to, you know, get on YouTube and talk about this. Um, and it's nothing, it's nothing contagious and they've ruled out most, you know, serious things like cancer. Um, but you know, anytime there's something going on with the brain, you have to be cautious. Um, so I, I direct messaged her back and I said, oh my goodness, Chrissy, this takes my breath away. Thank you. Um, and then she sent me a bunch of purple hearts. <laughs> um, and she continues to check in, you know, I'm keeping you uplifted in prayer. And, um, then I asked her if I could share her prayer and, um, she said, yes. And she said, praise the Lord. He hears your prayers, sister. Thank you for sharing with me. I will continue to pray for you. God is good. Even above everything we face, I am standing in prayer and love with you. And I said, if I work up the courage to share this on BookTube, do you mind? And she said, no, of course not. And then she went and sent me Secrets of the Mist. So thank you, Chrissy. Thank you for the book. Thank you for your encouragement. But above all else, thank you for your prayers. And I just really, I haven't shared on BookTube about my um, health situation. I'm going to see a neurologist tomorrow. And like I say, you know, they've ruled out the really scary stuff, but it's like my husband keeps saying, well, there's something going on. Your head's bothering you for a reason, you know, and then they found something. So um, it's nothing significant. It's not like a tumor or anything. So, um, but there's something going on and I'm, I'm just so tired and discouraged sometimes. So I really can't thank you enough, um, Chrissy and everybody out there in booktube who's just been such a blessing and encouragement to me.